Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I wanted to share another gift box for a bottle I made. So for this I've used the Graphic 45, Place in Time. It doesn't show up all here in the camera. I had to flip my camera around because uh, uh, <laughs> it's so high. But this paper are really great to use for some gift wrapping. And um, these people both uh, have a birthday in February, so I used the February paper for this box here. So I will um, flip it around a bit and uh, tell you about, uh, a little bit about uh, what I've used. And then I take my camera off uh, the tripod and show you a bit uh, close up. So we can start here um, with uh, this tag here. And this is um, a stamp from La Blanche and I use um, Prisma colors to color it in and I also use this uh, Copic, it's a glitter pens. You can see that. They are really great to outline here They're around and I also colored a bit in the middle here. So, but I will give you a close up of that after also taking some pictures that I post on my blog. So, and these uh, feet here are the foundation metal feet from Tim Holtz and I colored them in with a um, sandal paint dabber and uh, then went over with some uh, metal um, color gold over and rubbed it over. And uh, this crown I have a tutorial on, so I will post the link below, so if you want to make it. And this die here is um, see, uh, Mini Love Stock Set. It's from uh, Tim Holtz Movers and Shapers. And uh, the same here is a little mo Movers and Shapers, and it's a bird catch and bird. And um, around here... Here is a little postcard and I made a pocket around here, I put some papers around and just glued it in the ends, so there are pockets. And it's a little postcard here. And then um, there's some I am roses flowers here with a little pearl and some leaves and some skeleton leaves. And this uh, flourish here is a Sherilyn die. I'll show you, it's a huge die and it's really fun to use. So, and also most of uh, these uh, things you can find at uh, Creative Scrapping in Norway. It's a new shop, uh, but they ship all over the world. And they try to make their sites uh, in English also. So, but if there is something you wonder about, just email them. So, and um, yeah. Also, this is a Sherilyn design die. And this uh, um, frame here is a mold, and it comes like so. Hope I can get it close up here. And you can make it as a whole mold with a cameo inside, or you can make it as a frame, and then also get the not a in frame here cameo. Hope it shows up, and here is the frame. So it's a really fun mold to use. And then on the back side here, I made a big tag, so this can be taken out. And uh, I went around with um, with a gold dabber, and uh, a seam binding on the top. I've colored with a starburst spray from Lindis, and it's a golden slate belt um, spray. And this works well, very well with this paper line. And here I'm going to write them a note. So, and here are some dice that I cut out and colored with um, with a golden uh, dabber. And uh, this is from Mariana Design. And this one is a Joycraft flourish leaf. And also did some fussy cutting here. And on this side here. I made a little um, flower pot here from the Birdcatch die 
and uh, this is a spray fr uh, flower from I Am Roses and this I colored in with um, Cajun Cardinal Red and I first spray the um, flowers with a little bit of water so, it, um, so I don't get so much color on it and this little butterfly here is also from I Am Roses and um, yeah I also colored this seam binding with a um, uh, golden slate bell gold from Lindy's. And if you see this um, metal netting here, it uh, comes like this and it's open here so you can take a bottle inside. Well, that was really fun to use and it's a bit glittery. So now I will take my camera down and give you a bit close up. So we can start on the top here. I put a um, heart on the wire here and uh, rounded that uh, around the paint brush, the wire. Uh, doesn't focus. And then I painted it all with a gold dabber and uh, went over with uh, these uh, distress glitter rancher. This is really fun to use. So I used this a lot lately. And here is a crown. And uh, inside here is a little bird. And some eggs and some um, zipper. That is from Melissa Francis. And also some feathers and some cheese cloth here. And some seam binding and I'm Rose's flower. And also some... some um, some laces that I cut up and I have uh, also some laces around here you can see around the box here so and then I will try to move it around here so here is a flower from my roses also colored, colored with um, Cajun Cardinal Red and some uh, leaves behind and skeleton leaves. I'm not sure it shows up. So, and the little bird cage here I also colored in with um, with uh, glitter. So I just uh, took it on when the paint was uh, wet. And uh, now we can take the back. And here is uh, where the tags go inside. a pocket here and some butterflies and that I think is a Fisker's punch. Show you a bit close up here. And uh, for this side here it's a flower pot and a flower spray. And these sprays are really great to use. So Now I've taken the tag off, just to show you a bit here. It's uh, popped up on uh, pop dots, and uh, it was really easy to color them in with uh, Prisma colors. So uh, if you need a quick tag or something, that's an easy way to do it. So uh, I also have made a, a mini album and tutorial. Uh, for this paper and I will post uh, that uh, soon. I'm going to make a box for it so we'll make that first and um, hope you try out some of this and uh, make some different gift boxes or wrapping. So yeah and also um, I have posted a tutorial how to put this box together so I will post that link below. It's on my blog a bit uh, step by step. So thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a happy and a great day. Take care. Bye bye.